Hello and welcome to my FireMonkey video blog. Today I want to show you how easy you can use a T-grid with some image columns in it to display the last loaded images in your program. And then you can select for example that image that you need and want to show. So let's have a short look how is it done. Here is the T-grid and it's empty and when we open a file I just add a column to the grid. Here we have a T-image column that is created as a owner for the grid and the column width is set to 120. It's read-only of course it's visible, the parent is a grid and we do this begin update and end update to uh, be sure that the content will be displayed. Going back to the grid, in the grid we have set the row height to 114. So and when the grid uh, have to display its content it's uh, done here in the onGetValue event and you can see this is a internal way where I um, get my images. For a short explanation this is here a ttap control and when I load an image an um, additional uh, ttap uh, is created and in there will be an image and in this image is loaded the picture and with this function I just uh, get the info and so I have only to assign um, the value that is here coming with uh, in the event with that image that I have identified and then additionally I set the header with the name of the image. That's all. And when I click on the cell I can set then the index of the tab um, to the index of the grid and then you have the image that you want. And as you can see I've started this program on Linux. It works also very fine here. Perhaps uh, just an additional info, of course, when you do some uh, image uh, editing um, things, then you have to take care that is here also um, um, uh, updated and um, you have to look for the right event when you do it. I do it when I uh, save the changes uh, to the undo list and so it's very easy to handle. Yeah, and when you close one uh, tab, um, it's also very easy. You have only to check if um, the open your grid column count is, um, uh, has more entries than the uh, tab control, and then you free this column with this uh, part here, and you can set then the column index to the index of the uh, T-tab control. That's all. Perhaps I should mention at the end that this way does not consume much memory because uh, the images are um, reduced to a small thumbnails image and uh, FireMonkey checks if there was a change and only when there is a change then the image is new created as a thumbnail. Yeah, that was a very short tip uh, today, but I hope uh, nevertheless it is useful for you. So long and bye-bye.